Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today I'm going to be showing you another food shop haul and what we're eating for the week um, So yeah, well, I've just been to Aldi to get all the bits and bobs Got a lot more than I usually do but that's because I've got a lot of things planned in the next few days for us for like baking and things like that um, But yeah, I'm going to show you what we have So I'll just start from over here with all the bread stuff. So we have two lots of bagels, so 10 bagels in total. We go through bagels very, very fast. These will probably be gone by, I don't know, in about three days. Because um, we love toasted bagels um, for like breakfast and stuff. I have some rolls or cobs and some toasty bread. I used to get brown bread, but now everyone's complaining. And I only got brown bread, but I don't eat bread. So I was like, well, let them have it. I only have like bagels. And obviously the cobs if we have burgers and stuff. So starting over here, the only one non-food related item I got was this. Which was an Ambaya, um, like wash gel. I then got these, which are my favourite crisps ever. I used to always get these when I was younger. Um, and I love them. Um, they're the Tangy Toms. Also Andrew is obsessed with these now as well. Because he loves snaps. But these are fairly similar. Um, so he loves them as well. And I got some Teddy Faces. Um, we've got some breakfast bars because we ran out. We get the chocolate chip ones and the white chocolate chip ones. Um, and then we've got lots of snacky stuff. This is a lot for baking. So we've got the giant white buttons, which are for baking. And then the big um, milk chocolate bar, which is, again, for baking. And then these are like the for snacks bars. So they've got the Wacko Caramel ones. We all love these. And then these ones here, which are just like the Kit Kat ones. Um, then, like, Safari snacks. These are cool, too. The kids love these because they're just like little biscuit shaped animals with chocolate on. Sprinkles, obviously bacon. <laughs> chocolate spread and icing sugar. Chocolate spread isn't for bacon, we're just running low. So then on to my pasta, I've got some lasagna sheets, um, some spaghetti and then some macaroni as well. Obviously this is from Tesco's, so I did have to dip into Tesco's to grab it. Um, but I didn't have to get a lot from there, so yeah, I got that from Tesco's, not Aldi. Then I got some butter and some ham. These vegetable medleys, which are amazing because I have horrible shoulders sometimes and it really hurts to chop stuff up. So these have been amazing to get. Um, so I'm having a stew one day this week, so I'm just gonna shove that whole thing in. And then obviously for all the other dinners, we've got it for that as well, because they are huge. And the cauliflower and broccoli and stuff in there are massive portions. So I chucked one of these in for one of our meals and there was loads, I could have just used half of it. Um, we then have some grapes, these are the wonky ones, but I don't see how they're wonky. And then we have some of the tubes, um, yogurts, the kids are obsessed with these. I have to get the ones with the three in them because Ava likes the red berry flavour. And the pack of two is only strawberry and I think peach. So I've got these ones where they have the three in. And then some semi-skimmed milk. Then I've got some corn on the cobs. I was wanting the mini ones, but didn't have any. So I had to get the large ones. Then going on to our meat, I'm trying not to eat as much beef, um, even though I did get the beef meatballs, but I got made sure I got the low 5% fat ones. They have some vegan meatballs in there, which I did see last time I went in, but I could not find them this time. And I'm not a massive fan of meat. The only thing I like is like chicken and whatnot. They're healthier meat. Um, so yeah, I'm ashamed that I couldn't find the vegan meatballs. But I've got some turkey mints. Um, I like it because it's got less fat in it. Plus, I can't stand the taste of normal mints. It is horrible. But yeah, the meatballs, like I said, I was hoping to get other ones, but I'm used to like, if I have meatballs and spaghetti or spaghetti bolognese, I don't tend to eat the meat that's in it anyway because I can't stand it. But yeah, I've got some of those. Hopefully these are only small and um, got less fat in it, so I might like them, hopefully. Then I got some normal chicken breasts, um, some cheese, then over to like more the freezer section, even though these aren't, um, these are the pizzas. Um, they're actually cheaper to get them in the fridge than in the freezer. Um, I can't remember how much they are, but yeah, I just get four of these and I shove them in the freezer. We've got a few in there now, but I just get the same amount every time I go. It just makes more sense to stock up on them in case they have more kids around, like my niece and stuff. And then we have the cheese pizzas. These are the fairly new ones, got two of those. Um, but they're a lot cheaper than the other ones and the other half can't tell the difference. So yeah, these are for other half for a snack when it gets hungry. Yorkshire puddings um, for when we have Sunday dinner and then beef burgers. Obviously we're having burgers. I don't eat these by the way. I eat chicken burgers, which I've got, I, I bought a massive pack um, of and they're actually in the freezer, so I don't need them. 
any burgers but yeah the beef burgers these were what the kids and Stu will eat I'll add the chicken ones because yeah I prefer those we've then got scampi and I am obsessed with scampi we had this the other night me and the husband and we were, I can't believe it. I've just, like waited so long to have it again <laughs> um but we yeah, have we both love scampi and then we've got some chips sweet potato fries i absolutely love sweet potato fries and then we've got normal french fries as well because the kids don't like them <laughs> the sweet potato fries so we've got normal fries and then fruit we actually got loads of oranges left because i did some shopping a couple of days ago so for some fresh stuff so we've got two loads of apples we do we do go through those quite a bit and some potatoes and some onions i haven't got that many like fresh veg because i've got mainly in that kind of like little pack thing i tend to get so like my carrots and broccoli and all that is just in there already i then got some vegetable stock some stock pots i was hoping for a chicken but they were sold out but vegetable can do the same um and some white sauce two tins of chunky chopped tomatoes and then this um summer fruit <coughs> dilute as well which they didn't have any last time they had this one and it's not as good so uh yeah that's all the shopping for today it came up to about 58 pounds it's a lot more than what i usually spend because i usually spend just under 50 well between 30 and 50 sometimes depending on what i got but i am starting to get a lot more fresh stuff now instead of frozen and um yeah be a little better with it all and thinking about like this, the percentage of fats and stuff like that. But I'm gonna show you what we're going to have to eat for the week. Um, I have got a like a chart on the wall. Um, and basically it tells us what we're doing each week and whatnot, but also with food wise. Today's Thursday, so I kind of plan everything from Thursday to Wednesday, so all the meals from that. So I'll show you what we have in. So today, it is Thursday and we've got burgers. That's when they'll have the beef burgers and I'll have the chicken burgers. And then Friday the lasagna. I'm actually gonna do this in the slow cooker. I've got some of them slow cooker bag things you put inside, the liners. So I'm gonna make it with the slow cooker because it just takes forever to cook it and then put it in and then, yeah. So I prefer just to do that on Friday morning. And then Saturday we have a stew again, slow cooker, but with them bags, it means it's cleaned really easily. And then chicken. What I tend to do with this is get the chicken that is obviously over here. And then, so yeah, the chicken up here. And then I tend to get some of these. I have loads of these in the cupboard. <laughs> obviously that's a tuna pasta bake. So I have loads of these, so like barbecue and all that. This one here is actually from Aldi. They started doing the shake and bake ones where they do barbecue chicken and they've got Mediterranean chicken and they've actually got a couple more as well. So when I was in there last week, I just thought, oh, well, I'll grab some and see how they are, but we didn't have chicken this week. Or, well, yeah, this week, on Sunday. So we're having it um, on, we didn't have chicken last week, we're having it this week. So yeah, I'm gonna use one of those, I think, um, for the Sunday dinner. And then I'm just looking at my diary here. And then on Monday, we've got the scampi and chips. Um, the kids don't really like scampi, so they'll have something else like fish fingers, but we've already got them, because yeah, I stuck up on those. And then on Tuesday, we're having spaghetti and meatballs. And then on Wednesday, we're having macaroni and cheese. And again, um, I've obviously got the macaroni, butter, milk. And then what I've started using is this cool, like, it's like a cheese powder. It's like what you get in the macaroni cheese um, little packs. You know, the little cardboard packs you get and you get a pouch of this. So I've got a massive tub of that. And Andrew's obsessed with it and so is the other half. <laughs> so we're having mac and cheese as well. So... All meals that we're having are, we're having burgers today, tomorrow we're having lasagna, Saturday a stew, Sunday chicken, like a chicken dinner, then Monday we're having scampi and chips, Tuesday spaghetti and meatballs, and then Wednesday mac and cheese. Um, so that is all of our dinners then. I do not plan lunch because we just have whatever we tend to have. So, um, and um, things like sandwiches, whatnot, beans on toast, that type of thing. Um, the same with breakfast, obviously, we've got a load of ready stuff there. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I'm of two to Andrew and Ava, who is seven and four. But um, So I upload videos, things like motherhood, lifestyle, fashion, beauty, hacks, walls, cleaning, a lot, basically. So if it's something you're interested in watching, don't forget to subscribe. But I hope you have an amazing rest of the day, and I will see you soon. Bye.